My name is Jan Eijen and I'm a metal artist. I took up welding in my late 40s, I'm now 62, and through my association with the California Blacksmith Association, I discovered this ancient technique called chasing and repoussé, which is the same technique used to make the raised design on Roman armor. Two years ago, I was reading Richard Rohr's book, Eager to Love, and in that I found out about Francis of Assisi traveling to Egypt in the 1200s during the height of the Crusades. My first thought was, oh my gosh, it's hard enough to get to Egypt now, let alone back then. And he meets with the Sultan of Egypt, and instead of the Sultan going, you're an infidel, so off with your head, or instead of Francis saying, well, you don't believe in the Trinity, so you're gonna burn in hell, it's like they said namaste to each other. The divine light in me sees and honors the divine light in you. I was so bowled over by that that I thought, I, I need to depict this. But my transition from welding nine foot pieces in steel to working on uh, this smaller scale was so new that I didn't know if I could pull off what I wanted to pull off. So I did a small study of just Francis's face uh, working on an expression of affection because if I could not get that between Francis and the Sultan, I didn't want to even bother to try. Uh, my Bulgarian teacher, um, Valentin Yatkov, said I indeed achieved it, so I went ahead. I do a lot of online research uh, for my pieces. Um, I wanted exactly what a Franciscan robe looked like, the, the poverty, the look of burlap that it had. Um, I didn't put as many patches on his robe as what he actually had, but that's artist license. I wanted to show the, the wealth of the Sultan. I do a lot of examining of people's body parts out in public, uh, their hands, their feet, their jaw lines. Um, and if I see something that I need to incorporate, I will ask a total stranger if I can take a picture of uh, their hand and would they please hold it in such and such a position. Um, the lady who runs the cheese shop in Slow had these boots. This kind of work takes way, way more time than any of my big pieces ever did. Months and months and months go into a piece like this. One of the things I love about this technique is the tools and the hammers. And you need lots of different weights of hammers. All of them are important from the very heavy to super light. And all the tools and all the hammers are made by people with blacksmith skills. This is not, they're not something you can go and buy at Home Depot. I've been going to the Kamaldoli Hermitage up in Big Sur for uh, about 10 years now. I recently finally went ahead and became an oblate there, uh, just solidifying my affiliation. Um, I love it up there. I love the monks, and I'm very concerned about the fact that they are not getting any income uh, due to the fact that no retreatants can get up there at all. And so I'm donating this piece in order to raise funds uh, that they need. My husband and I have been praying actually for um, a couple of months now since I decided I was going to donate it, that it would go to exactly the right person. Um, this affection that these two men developed for each other, a Muslim, and a Christian is something that is so desperately needed these days. And um, I was so impacted from hearing the story and I would hope that it would go to a place where people are ecumenically minded and want interfaith dialogue.